Uh, so all I did is find a bucket. And believe it or not, dark and light buckets makes a difference. You have to figure that out yourself, whichever one works. But as you can see, this one is a, a black bucket. So I just uh, put a couple tabs. Actually, it's the plastic on the bucket right here. I just cut a tab down, peel it down with a torch and cut a little slot inside like this. So the spring will fit down in under the slot and it fits, fits right in so it's tight. The trap is actually tight in this, in this uh, rig. Same thing on this side. Uh, and now I, I got this one. Then I'm going to put some mackerel in here and uh, put some hot water in it on top of the mackerel. And when I get to the site, I'm going to let that freeze, of course, before I go shuffling it around the back of the skidoo. And you can take, uh, in my skidoo there, I got the old, that old uh, Betsy, I call her. She's eight under four stroke, heavy machine, but uh, good, really good. So, and uh, I can take uh, all together one bucket down into the other bucket. I can take ten of these, no sweat at all. And ten is about what I'll do in a in a day. So, uh, this is where my otter traps are going right now. And uh, uh, the otters is otter is uh, pretty well over for the season. I never bothered too much. I think I got four. And uh, so I'll get some mackerel now and put down in there and and uh, not only that you'll catch mink and uh, you will catch hotter with it too if you put it alongside of the dams and stuff so pretty well all around catch now I know Jason and the boys use three turdies up there and uh, they got bigger stuff my my uh, mink and and the links and a few things like that is pretty small down these parts. Now I know a link would probably be reluctant, but they do poke the reed into places like that, and uh, especially if it's down in the snow. Uh, just a little tip. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Ever where where they're not going to use their paws, uh, you just want it somewhere where they're going to have to use their head. It's got to be kind of an uh, open spot. Anyway, I hope you get some success with that. I put two more wires down here for mink because there's a few mink on the go. So now I drill a hole on each side here so that I can slide a stick in through there. I'm not going to bother up on that side because that's going to be kind of up out of the snow. Anyway, I get to drill spade bit. I get a spade bit there now. Uh, a fairly, fairly big one, I guess. Probably a half inch or something like this. Once a fairly hefty stick. Three quarter looks like. Yeah. So I just drill a hole in through it here. Okay. And I'll drill another one right there, right across from that one. The idea of that is to slide. Now this trap is not in the notches, as you see, and it's backwards there now. So I'm gonna slide a stick in across uh, this pencil. This is what you got, so they won't crawl in. Mink won't crawl in there anyway. And this trap is upside down, of course. So I just flick it over. <clears> Home <throat> coming from that bucket. Now this mackerel was in that one, so he's the real one. There you go. Stick a go across like that, right under the trigger. Yep, so that should should do the job. It's kind of kind of a warm warm day here today. In central we got one day we got minus twenty, and then the next day we got yeah the hole is not big enough for that piece of stuff. But anyway. You got no idea. Just you see that pencil. Just go across with a stick and block that off. Could put one up there, but it's no need. And I put a piece of extra wire on the trigger there. In case a mink does come along and where I'm putting it out is gonna be in under bridges. Really, so now that's the beat down there, so 
I got some warm water there and some snow mixed with it. So I just pour that in there. Put a little bit of snow on top of that so it will freeze into a, a mass of ice. And then we'll be able to get it out. Easy. This is the mix right there. So that's it, that one's ready. Take it out now and put it back down in the uh, on the road. Now here's my trap. I just put a couple of bows over that one. And I'll put a couple of links in there around here now. And as you can see there's tracks coming down through right there before the snow. Looks like links and uh, up that way. Around the trees there's so two or three snares there now. Right there, and I want to get it done. And it's starting to get dark, so yeah, a couple more little twigs to go around there now. It's another set right there. One, two, three, four sets, and I think I might put another one right here in this trail. Just going back, so I'll put five. Yeah, it's getting dark now, so I've been here an hour pretty well. So I got my five sets done, and this is the last one right here, so. Whatever comes along now comes along. Yeah, I a trail out through there now. And the road is just right there, so. This is uh, January, I believe it's number 11. And I'm just getting over the flu or so called flu and sore throat, so looks like a trail going up that way too. It's dark now, so I gotta leave.